I am not forgotten. Stand up on your feet. I am not forgotten. I don't know where you may have been at this time of your life. In your school, your career, your relationship. Other people may have gone ahead of you. Like I waited in that restaurant on the story I just told you. It's a story. And as you're waiting, it looked like everybody has gone ahead of you. They're driving the best cars. They live in the best homes. They got married before you. They built their own homes. They found a man or a woman that they love. But you are feeling stuck and forgotten. I've come to share with you this morning. As this message is come forth, your appointed time is just around the corner. I've been in a valley where I felt forgotten. As a pastor, I felt left alone, betrayed by friends, and certain people who didn't know better. And I felt forgotten. But God said, and just like Sarah, I was laughing and said, it's not possible. I can't do it again. And he said to me, by this time, tomorrow, I come to prophesy over you. You are in the valley of waiting for your appointed time. Whether in ministry, whether in relationship, in business. And the Lord is saying, by this time. I will visit again when your appointed time has come. All you need to do is keep waiting, keep trusting, keep believing, and keep praying. Because your appointed time is about to show up. And when your appointed time has come, you will testify. Lift up your hands. I'm going to pray for people here who probably may have missed the appointed time. Because there's one thing to be on time and there's another thing to be on your appointed time. And some of you may have missed your appointed time without knowing. Lift up your hands. I want to pray that the mercy of God will rise. That every word that the enemy has spoken concerning your appointed time will be reversed. That the pain and the toiling and the waiting that you have waited will be reversed. For the sake of your appointed time. And we declare today, let the appointed time be realigned again. I speak over these people, Lord. If there is anyone that has missed the appointed time, Lord, I pray for mercy. Your appointed time for breakthrough, I pray for mercy. Your appointed time for healing, I pray for mercy. Your appointed time for miracle, I pray for mercy. Your appointed time for expansion, I pray for mercy. Your appointed time for deliverance, I pray for mercy. Let God remember your appointed time. Remember us in our appointed time. May we not miss it. For those who are in business, I pray that heavens remember you. And open up the windows of heaven and pour you out that blessing. May you testify in this season. May you testify in this season. Even in the name of Jesus. If there is anyone here who wants to say to me, Pastor. I missed my appointed time because of anger. Unforgiveness. These are little things that can cause us to miss our appointed time. Because the Bible says that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. God cannot go against his word. Because the enemy is waiting in the courtroom of heaven. Waiting to accuse you with something. And when your appointed time comes. The enemy will go to God who is the judge. And tell him you can't bless him. Because this person has the spirit of this. Or has the spirit of that. And so you're here. You want to lift your hand and say father forgive me. Of every hurt every pain I release them whoever they may be I forgive them in the name of Jesus it may have been so painful release so heaven can remember you 
release so heaven can appoint you in. I prophesy over you right now that you will not miss your appointed time. I speak a word as a servant of God that you will not miss your appointed time. Even in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Say amen. Put your hands together. Take your seats. For those of you who are connecting on Zoom on our platform line, please get a cracker or something around and uh, make sure you do have something to share in the fellowship of uh, communion. Amen. Uh, we're not going to do this in a traditional way. We're just going to do this straight up and pray and take the communion. I'll be out of here in a few. Every first Sunday of the month, we break bread and take the communion that represents the body and the blood of Jesus. In this hour, I want you to pray thanking him for the body and the blood. It is something that no man can do but only him alone. For according to the scripture which says in the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three to 26, it says, For I have received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. And he commanded us to do this in remembrance of him. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink. And that's in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. And so, Father, this morning we proclaim your name, Yahweh. As we take and partake in the fellowship of the body and the blood. If there is anyone here who has committed any kind of sin. And then Father we ask for purification and forgiveness of sin in the name of Jesus Father. We ask for mercy O oh Lord. That you will count us and be among the family of Christ. As we partake of this fellowship. Father. We pray for total change on the inside. Help us to overcome our fears, shortcomings, even in the name of Jesus. As we eat, we eat life. As we eat, we eat life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the body. As you said, do this as often as you may in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Let's take the bread. Communion began on the annual celebration of the Passover when Jesus has told his disciples to remember his sacrifice as he ate the bread and drank the wine. Just as Israel was celebrated the sacrifice of Passover lamb. When the angels of death passed over the homes, so believers in Jesus celebrate and remember his sacrifice of our sins. When he died on the cross. And today as we lift up the body and the blood, we say, Holy Spirit, may anything that is evil pass over us in the name of Jesus. May anything that has been declared negatively over us pass over us in the name of Jesus. Father, we stand today and we declare as we partake in the body and the blood of Jesus. Sanctify and heal us, O oh God. Bring us to the place of appointed time, O oh God. Bring us to a place of total restoration. As I lift this cup, as it goes through down our throat, let it change and revive on the inside, O oh God. Let it bring deliverance on the inside. Let it bring healing on the inside, O oh God. Let the Holy Spirit come in contact with our body, oh God. In the name of Jesus, as we submit totally to you, Father, may something unique happen in our lives, oh God. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, let's take the blood. If you have done that, would you please take a moment and thank him as you sit down. Just tell him, thank you for the body. Thank you for the body. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the body. Thank you for the blood. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Have you been blessed today? Have you been blessed? Now, one thing I want you to do is don't leave this place 
feeling down in any kind of way, keep your head up because you are not forgotten. Make it a song if you can this week, if you can this month. I am not forgotten. I will be remembered when my appointed time has come. No matter what comes your way, always make sure you declare this word. I am not forgotten. My appointed time is coming. Amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah.